Hello, my name is Margo Clark. This is Dr. Sally Sienkowskis. We're two of the owners of Unique Glass Colors and we manufacture kiln fire glass color and mud. Um, we're here at the Artist Expo Convention in Houston, Texas, and we thought we would take advantage of that to film our booth and show you some of our products, some of the things we've done with them, and how to use some of them. So we hope that you enjoy this. Hi. Uh, we'd just like to introduce you to some of the things that we can do with our products. We're very into recycling glass. Uh, one of the things that we did was uh, to do a fit out a bathroom with uh, recycled glass. We use Jealousy Windows and our product, which then gives different types of tiles and textures. So this is a very simple way of how you can both recycle, be green, and use our products to improve something that you have at home. I would like to show you some of the products that we're going to be that we have for sale and one of the things that we sell the most of and we really love is mud and I'm going to show you one way that we're going to be using the mud. We use the mud by adding it to frit and making coral out of it. We do all sorts of things. We butter tiles with it. We do a ton of things with mud. One of the things I like to do is make uh, flowers. One of my favorite things to do. And I want to show you how I'm going to do that. It's a very simple one that anybody can do. There's not anybody that can't do that. Did you hear that? There's not anyone that can't do this. Okay, I'm gonna use our mud product. This is what comes white mud and black mud. I'm gonna be using the white and I'll show you the black. I'm using a little entree box. These come in our kits. Our kits have all of this stuff in it that you need. And I use the top of that for a palette. I put a little bit of water out, just a couple of drops of, of, of water and a couple of drops of medium. The medium is the same medium that we use to mix into our colors and our dry colors to make them liquefy, make them ready to use. And this, I'm gonna dress my brush in this. I'm using Margo's Miracle Brush. Isn't that handy since my name is Margo? Um, and I'm gonna dress it in that. I, the mixture of the two is because water by itself, when I pull the mud down, makes it look a little chalky. Medium is a little bit thicker and that's a little too thick. When I pull down, I don't have enough give. So a combination of the two is perfect. And you saw that I made that absolute um, a precise mix. Did you not? A couple of drops of this, a couple of drops of that. It's fine. Just put a little bit of medium, a little bit of water, and we're good to go. For me, what I like to do, I like to put the mud in a pastry tube and with a metal tip. The metal tip we bring from England because it is stainless steel, and I can leave it in this thing forever. This is from Christmas when I was working. Okay, and you can see how nice and neat that is. But this is, this is cleanup. That's prep. I'm good to go. So I can have this at my ready anytime that I want to work. So once this is set up, you can do anything with this. And uh, uh, both SJ and I, Dr. SJ and I write for Glass Patterns Quarterly a lot. So you'll see us using this mud all the time in many different ways. Um, trees, branches, coral, fish, outlines, fill in a ton of ways. So this is just one way, but this is a fun way to show customers, okay? So I'm ready to go. I test it out here to make sure that it's working. And I like to do this freehand. Teach people how to do things freehand because then they're not so reliant on a pattern. So I tell people, all you need to do when you're doing a flower is where is our things coming to, all right? There's a little dot there. I know to bring everything back to that point. So if I squeeze some of the mud out, just a little ways away, when I'm not using it, it goes down into the wet sponge. Dampen my brush in that little area where I mix the two together, the water and the medium. And then I'm gonna use that brush flattened. Not sure you can see that, but I'm using that brush flattened. And I'm gonna skim the top of that little ridge. Just barely skim it and pull it towards that little dot. All right, that looks simple enough, right? The answer is yes. Leave a little space. Come a little further away. Do it again on the flat of the brush, just skimming the top of that little ridge. Now, to do when we're doing it freehand, turn it upside down now. Rather than keeping going on around, if you do that, it's gonna either turn into a pinwheel or you're gonna get to the other side when the, to make the fifth pedal. You're gonna, not gonna have enough room or you're gonna have too much room. So, turn it upside down and you're gonna form a Y by pulling that in. All right, now you've got two spaces left. Fill them in. Got this one's a little larger on this side. Might be a little smaller on the other side. But what you have when you're done is you have a five petal flower that's evenly spaced with no pattern. I want to put a center in it so we already know where the center was because that's what I started with. So I put a dot there, 
one on either side, one in between, turn it around, put one in between, and you're done. It's highlighted, shaded, veined, centered, and through, okay? So that is just like one way to do the mud, but it's a very effective way to show people how easy that is to do. Now, I would like to show you um, uh, our color. One of the things that always happens is we'll get calls and people say, oh, it's not as dark as what I see you getting, or it's a little streaky. Well, we always know what the answer to that is. It's because they're not, it's not being applied heavy enough. And so we're always talking about puddle push and pull. So I'm gonna show you what puddle push and pull is. That's the way to get an opaque coverage with it. You'll see in our magazine articles, and we do have packets for sale, things like that, that show uh, many different ways. You can use it as watercolor, you can do a ton of things with it. But what it's designed to do is to be opaque. This is the NT line we're talking about. NT stands for non-toxic, doesn't contain any lead. I'll talk about, we'll talk a little bit about Artisan and um, a little bit later on, but I want you to see how, what we're talking about when we say puddle, push, and pull. All right, for opaque coverage, I like to use a liner brush. And you can see this is a 10 out liner brush. It's, it's little, it's a tool. You could actually do this with a toothpick or a popsicle stick or whatever. You're using it simply as a tool. I've mixed this already to the consistency of melted ice cream, meaning if I let it run off the end of something, it just kind of drips off exactly like melted ice cream would be. And we always say this is not low fat. This is not yogurt, this is ice cream that has milk and sugar, full, full stuff, full stuff. So it's nice and rich when it comes off of there. I'm going to just use that brush as a tool, get some product, puddle it. There's your puddle. I'm not sure she can see that real well, so I'm gonna put a little piece of white paper under there so that's more visible. So there's a puddle. Then I want you to push it or pull it into place. That's fine. If I put that up and I look underneath it, I know I can see that that's solid. If you say, well, I want to make it go just a little bit further, so I'm going to paint it out and I'm going to have more coverage so that I don't use quite as much product. What you're going to have when you look underneath is streaks. Okay? So it's no pulling, no stretching it. Puddle it. Push it into place, pull it into place. You're putting a layer of product on your glass. Not, you're not gonna paint it on. If you want streaks, if you want thick and thin areas, then paint it on. You want solid coverage, that's what puddle push and pull is. All right, when we come to a show, we like to bring kits because that's an easy way to display our products. And behind me, I have artisan kits, I've got NT kits, we've got mud kits, we've got all sorts of kits. When you go to our website, you'll also see that we have glass separator, we have free, we have fiber paper, we have all sorts of different things that you could use in your, um, in your business. And it is www.uniqueglasscolors.com.